15 years ago, there was a war. Well, wars broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side, though, and their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. That was 15 years ago. They fought ferociously, but were utterly defeated. The Belkins then committed the unthinkable. They used nuclear weapons on their own soil. Seeing this tragedy unfold before their own eyes, the victorious countries vowed to throw down their weapons. The world was once again at peace. And thanks to them, it seemed it would last forever. On a distant island, far away from civilization, the protectors of the peace take to the skies. Red alert! I was in the sky, trying to get the training team in my viewfinder from the rear seat of the lead plane. My pilot in the front seat was howling at the earth below. upside down and my stomach turned inside out. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low-altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with today's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you Nuggets are gonna be sitting alert. If we launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir? You're flying number two on my wing. 
Gotta keep an eye on you, or who knows what you'll get yourself into. At ease, people! But don't get too comfortable. It's a grave situation for all of us right now. Let's get this briefing started. Another aircraft of unknown origin has entered Ocean Federation airspace. We have confirmed the target type as a strategic recon plane flying at very high altitude. Despite our repeated warnings, it continued to penetrate our ADIS and was fired upon by Ocean Coastal Defense Force SAMs. We believe one of our SAMs damaged the unknown plane, but did not destroy it. Radar shows that the aircraft is currently losing altitude and is attempting to egress feet wet towards the ocean. Intercept this target and force it to land for identification. Do not fire upon this aircraft until further orders are transmitted.
Emergency transmission from Central. The whole affair with the unidentified aircraft was covered up. There was even a rumor going around that it was actually a UFO. Officially, the world was still at peace. Having witnessed the battle myself, I wasn't allowed to leave the island. Why do they even bother reprimanding me anymore? I know I'm going to be stuck at Captain forever. Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Yeah. That's why we got people working their asses off trying to confirm what the hell's going on over there. I bet they've got hotlines ringing off the hook somewhere upstairs. The government doesn't want to get the public riled up with all this, you know? But it doesn't matter. Soldiers like us are too stupid to think for ourselves, so we just gotta keep our mouths shut when they tell us to. I feel kinda bad for you, actually. <laughs> it's all right. I get to be with you guys. Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. Hmm? He used to have a lady friend over in Yuktabania. Ah, uh, that's just an old war wound now. Thank <laughs> you. 